So for my lunch today, ito na siya. Ito iyak ako. Ang saka. Ito mo sa akin. friends, welcome back to the channel. It's another episode of What I Eat in a Day. I love filming these videos kasi I do like documenting naman what I eat in a day. Minsan lang nakakalimutan ko. But for the most part, I like sharing with you guys what I realistically eat in a day. I have other videos like this in the past. I'm gonna link them below if you guys wanna see. If you guys remember dun sa ibang videos na yun, hindi ata ako nagluto at all. It's mostly, you know, mga food padala, padala ng mom ko. But today, I'm really excited because I'm gonna cook ish a meal. Also, i-share ko lang, I actually gained, I would say, 3 kilos because of the holidays. Like, ang daming mga ganap, ang daming mga get-togethers, and then we went to Boracay. Alam mo yung mga January came, and then sinasabi mo sa sarili mo na magkapapayat na ako sa February. Sis, kalagit na anong tayo ng February, pero ngayon pa lang ako ulit um, ginahan na magpapayat. So, for today's episode, I'm gonna be on a calorie deficit. Mas konti yung kakain natin dahil I'm trying to lose a little bit of the holiday gain. You know, holiday gain. Lumakabraso ko, mukha ko lumaki din, chan ko lumaki din. But that's okay, I don't wanna stress myself anymore. Minsan kapag titignan ko yung sarili ko sa salamin, hindi na ako natutuwa kasi sis, ang bloated ko talaga. But instead of, you know, me stressing about it, I'm just gonna do something about it. And you guys know the drill, I don't really eat breakfast. If you are, that's great. But yeah, I'm getting hungry right now. So I'm just gonna grab a drink, but I hope you enjoy what I'm gonna eat today. P.S. I had to change my outfit because the other one was too revealing. Pati ako na distract, so wag tayong ganon. I'm just wearing a basic outfit, a basic tank top, and then my favorite leggings. I'm telling you guys, these are the best leggings ever. So nice and buttery. Wala akong camel toe. Para na smooth out ng yung bulges ko. I'm gonna link them below if you guys want them. Okay, first things first, since I'm feeling hungry na. Um, I'm gonna do G-Max Keto lang. You guys know naman, this is really my favorite. Whatever I'm craving for, mga milk tea, mga soft drinks. Nag G-Max Keto na lang ako. So I do about 2 tablespoons of this. Hinahaluan ko siya na mainit na tubig muna. Oh my gosh, the best! Something about this, I've been drinking it for two years. Never ako nagsawa sa kanya whatsoever. It is that good. Sobrang sarap nito. It doesn't taste like matcha or whatever ha. It tastes like kalamansi. So, ang sarap-sarap talaga. It's craving satisfied, especially kapag mahilig kayo sa mga matatamis na drinks like soda, mga fruit juices, especially mga milk tea. Yung mga creamy dessert type coffee. Kasi maraming klaseng coffee may mga Americano. Yun yung mga okay. In terms of like mga diet, di ba nauso din yung coffee ngayon? Coffee na ang daming creamer, ang daming mga syrups loaded with like the whipped cream, the sugar, and kung ano-ano mga add-ons. May time na na-addict ako sa coffee para ang bilis ko rin lumobo. Best alternative to all of those sugary drinks is of course G-Max Keto. Ito yung pinaka nakapagpatulong din sa aking weight loss journey. This one curbs my cravings. Hindi na ako masyado nagtatakaw every time I have this. I don't feel like eating a lot more sweets. And did I mention sugar-free pa to ha? Tapos meron pa siyang L-carnitin na nakaka-boost ng ating metabolism. Pinapabilis na yung metabolism natin. Vitamin C of course for immunity which is essential also. I still drink my supplements but this is an added bonus, di ba? Ito lang, hindi siya magic drink na lose 10 kilos in one week. Definitely not. But it's such a great life-changing product for me kasi ang sarap-sarap niya na hindi ko na, hindi na ako naghahanap pa ng iba to stuff me or to fill me up. This one, this one curbs my cravings and that is the best thing about it. And it's the best tasting one I have found. Marami na ako nasubukan na may mapaklang lasa, hindi masarap, may aftertaste. Wala itong aftertaste at ang sarap-sarap pa niya. Ang sarap talaga. Sis, like, ang sarap talaga. As always, I'm gonna leave a link kung saan nyo ito pwede makuha. And they're having a sale right now. Plus, if you use my code Tony Keto, you're gonna get 10% off your G-Max Keto if you're trying to watch your weight also and watch your sugar intake. I promise your sugary cravings will be satisfied without the guilt. Okay, so for my lunch today, ito na siya. Hindi ito. Oh, I mean, ito, pero hindi in the raw form, okay? Like, basta hugasan ko muna siya and then we're gonna cook. Mami ako, ano-ano na maisipin nyo? Walang ganon. Walang ganon. This is a wholesome channel. We are gonna be making one of my favorite dishes to make right now. Chinese-style eggplant with minced pork. 
these eggplants that I got are thick. I'm cutting the eggplants into four. Umagantong chopping chopping. Hindi ako nagmamadali dahil hindi naman po ako chef ano so baka ayoko maputol ang kamay ko kaya mas okay na hindi nagchichilak sa kong humiwa ng gulay. Ang sakit sa mata. Mas mahapdi pa to sa heartbreak siya sa atong sa inyo. Labe. Parang first time ko maluhan ang ganito kalala sa sibuyas. Naiiyak talaga ako, gabe. Hindi ako o eh. Tignan nyo to. Tignan nyo to. This is my lunch for today. Perfect combo. Add the sauce with the ano, with the minced pork. Ngayon nilagyan ko ng ketchup. Masarap naman siya, but next time I would try it without the ketchup. This is a quick, hearty meal loaded with eggplant and of course the minced pork. Yummy! Hello there, we meet again. So, about an hour has passed. I've cleaned up and now it's time for my snack. So, I bought itong fresh na premium strawberry. Um, Korean strawberries siya. So, it looks really good. And I want something light and ano lang. Parang papak-papak lang. So, I'm just gonna do strawberries with a little bit of condensada para mas matamis ng konti. Wait, ang tamis ng strawberry. Ang sarap. These freaking Korean strawberries are so delicious, you guys. And with the condensed milk. Oh, shit. Sobrang sarap. Okay? Oh. Ang sarap ng strawberry. Grabe. Okay. Mm -mm. Yummy! Okay, time for my early dinner. Mga 4 p.m. na, guys. Hala. Napon din yung ilaw namin. But yeah, mga 4 p.m. na guys. Kaya ako makain na rin ako ngayon. Kasi ayoko na kumain namayang gabi. Para hindi ako bloated the next day. So, isa rin to sa mga ginagawa ko. Kapag gusto ko magbawas ng timbang. Is I don't eat 
at night so much anymore. I'm gonna do the easiest, quickest grilled cheese sandwich. My favorite bread ko kapag nakapapayat ako is the Walter Sugar Free Wheat Bread. I always have this. It is the best. To Arla na naturally tasty gouda. And the star of the show, which is Korean ketchup. This one I'm gonna try to link. Meron sa Shopee ito. Ang sarap ng Korean ketchup. Let's make the easiest grilled cheese sandwich ever. I did two slices of the grilled cheese. This is the grilled cheese recipe. It's literally so easy, you guys. Cheesy goodness. This one tastes like pizza. I'm not even kidding. Dahil dun sa ketchup. Hindi na rin ako naglagay ng butter kasi like the calories na naman. So... Mm -hmm. Yummy! 